Today we're gonna make a race car at my 98 Forester. Yesterday I tinted the windows. Not the best job I've ever done, but it'll do. We're also gonna do some plugs today, some new brakes, and we're gonna be doing a cat delete. The 98 Foresters have two catalytic converters. I always feel like I'm saying that wrong, but it's got two cats on it. I'm going to be drilling out the rear cat for track purposes. We're gonna see what it sounds like. If I'm happy with it, we'll leave it. If I'm not happy with it, we'll drill out the first one as well. So plugs, cat, brakes. <laughs> You know, when you're doing little projects on your car and you come across something that is, I mean, just rusty and hideous looking, why not just paint it? You know, it's going to clean the whole, that little, little bit of rust. If you're already got it out, clean it up. So... I did the plugs. We're gonna listen a little. Now, let's get rid of that cat. cars jacked up these bolts are super rusted especially on the heat shield itself the heat shield i'm assuming is really just to contain the heat to get the cat going because it's cat's got to warm up before it can actually burn off the exhaust so we're going to take that shield off probably just permanently looks like i'm probably going to need some donuts some some gaskets as soon as i get it off i could already see they're real real eroded let's see if i can break these nuts loose without breaking any of them Cats out. I got one gasket. As you can see, it's kind of crumbling and falling apart. I believe this is a donut on here. It's real bad, real ugly. So I don't know if you'll be able to see. So you got the honeycomb inside the cat. I'm gonna just try and hammer it out with a chisel, break it apart, knock it out, and then uh, I'm gonna go pick up a donut for this. Maybe for myself too. All the honeycomb is broken apart on the floor. Now I just gotta go pick up a new gasket, a new donut, and then I can swap it back in. Now I'm a solid five miles from town, five and a half to the parts store. I get all the way there and realize I didn't bring my phone, I didn't bring my wallet, so I had to drive another five and a half miles back. Home. Also, the first AutoZone didn't have what I wanted, so I had to drive across the street to O'Reilly's and get gaskets. I got the gaskets, I'm gonna throw them on, throw the cat back in, drop the car, start it up and listen, and then get to the brakes.
definitely a little more oomph. We'll see once I get on the road with it, and then I'll decide if I want to take out the front cat. But we're on to the brakes. So we're moving on to day number two with the brakes. Uh, yesterday, I had some trouble fitting the banjo bolt into the new calipers. It almost went in as if it was like cross threading. And I found this old banjo bolt from my truck. And as you can see, it threads right in perfectly. Well, this also threads in perfectly with the old calipers. So it was the same threads as the banjo bolt, but the banjo bolt wouldn't go in. For some reason, it just felt like something was hanging up in it. So I called in some help. After like 10 minutes of playing with it, it just magically screwed right in. And then my wife got home and I stopped. So now we're gonna do the other side, this is actually the problem side. It's actually grabbing the rotor, starting to smoke a little. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna bleed the brakes, drop it down, and she will be ready to go. First drive, and it's like a whole new car. The brakes feel amazing. The car sounds a little bit better with the cat delete. I uh, think I'm gonna go ahead and probably do the, the first cat as well, because it's not, the, the second cat, after drilling it out, it adds a little bit of a rumble, but it's not to the point of being like annoying, where you like an exhaust leak annoying. So I think drilling out the first cat as well will definitely help. I. I feel, I personally feel in my opinion, there is a little bit more, a little more oomph with it. I've, you know, on all, all my old cars that I've had, whenever I've drilled out the cats, I always get a significant performance improvement because especially these older cars that are 20 plus years old, the cats basically just become clogged up and useless. But the car is doing great. Much happier with it. Oh, I gotta roll the window up. I hope you all enjoyed the footage. I definitely enjoyed doing it all. So hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and we'll see what the next project is.